One of Tulsa's busiest intersections is now open with a major change in how it operates. ODOT opened the diverging diamond interchange at the Creek Turnpike and Memorial today. News on 6's Chin Doan is live with how it works. Chin? Craig and Lori, the goal of the design is to cut back on to congestion and traffic. Let's show you a live look right now of how this works. For example, these cars are heading north. They had to merge over to the other side of the lanes. And then once they go under the bridge, they go back to the lanes that they were originally in. Again, the goal is to cut back on congestion and crashes. With a police escort, Nico Hernandez and his family are the first to drive through the first diverging diamond interchange in eastern Oklahoma. It's always amazing to be the first one to do anything. <laughs> TJ Gerlock with the Oklahoma Department of Transportation explains how the diverging diamond interchange, also called a DDI, at the Creek Turnpike and Memorial works. You no longer have to cross a lane uh, opposing traffic. It's very simple. Just merge into the direction you're going and then once you get across the bridge, You'll, you'll just transition back onto the right side of the road. While some drivers seemed hesitant, others were confident. Was it easy? Yes, it was. It seems like it'll just flow with everybody, everybody coming off, going around. ODOT says it will take some getting used to since this is just the second DDI in the state. But the new intersection should help with cutting down on congestion, crashes, and wait times as crews replace the old traffic signals with new ones. So these are going to be all timed all the way from 90, I think it's 98th, all the way to 103rd. Uh, there's about five signals, uh, signalized intersections in there, and we're going to have control on every single one. It's exciting for Chris Sloan, who went through the DDI for the first time on his birthday. I was looking off to the side to everybody just waving at us. <laughs> what are we going through? You felt like it was a parade? Yeah, that's what I said in the car. I said, it, I feel like I'm in a parade. ODOT says by the end of June or early July, there will be more striping and signage around here to help drivers. ODOT has also posted a how-to video in case drivers have any more questions. Live in Tulsa, Chindon, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.